guys want to go? Hey everybody, welcome back to another Ford Ranger video. Well, last week I replaced... Hello. Do you want to play a game? Uh, the gauges with the white version out of a Ford Explorer Sport Track. And I also replaced LEDs. Uh, there were five or six of them, I can't remember. Um, if you haven't seen that video, please go back to the playlist and watch it. Anyway, this week I'm gonna go ahead and uh, replace the, uh, the lights in the climate control with some additional LEDs that I bought. And uh, they're pretty much just plug and play, pretty good quality. So the first thing I need to do is go ahead and remove the stereo bezel which if I remember, it's two uh, seven millimeters under there, and then it just kind of pops right out. So I'll go ahead and get started. All right, once uh, those two seven millimeters are out, you can just kind of gently pry this out. And where I'm gonna run into problems is I don't wanna disconnect the stereo. So I'm gonna have to try to do this um, with kind of flipping it up out of the way to get access to the fasteners for the climate control. Uh, just because it's, this is not a simple unplug, just like it would be with the factory stereo. So I guess I'm going to pull this out and see what I can do. All right, there are four fasteners. They are also seven millimeter. That seems to be a very popular uh, size on this truck uh, that secure this climate control piece. Uh, one, two, three, four, very simple. And what you're looking for are these two bulbs right there and again yours might be a little easier mine's kind of awkward because I have to kind of hold this whole thing with one hand while trying to do this uh, with the other hand uh, but anyway you just kind of unscrew those and uh, I'll pull them out then you can see what the bulb looks like and then you pop in the LED these LEDs that I got uh, are not polarity specific which is really good so it doesn't matter which way you plug them in they work both work both ways so I have found that uh, needle nose pliers, if that's too difficult to reach, uh, you can get in there and uh, carefully untwist it. So I'm going to go grab some pliers and I'll take one out, show you what it looks like. All right, well, shame on me because I just assumed these were the same size as the ones in the dash, but they are in fact smaller. I'm not sure what the number of this bulb is, but definitely not the same size as the ones in the dash. So... I doubt they have these in stock at the local auto parts store. I might take a look. Otherwise, I'll just have to order the right size and pick this up again once I have them. All right, I just did a little research and found out uh, the older version of this truck had the same uh, LED as the dash. But this is the newer version with the electronic dials rather than the cable operated. So it has what is called a number 74 bulb and I just found some on Amazon uh, a set uh, that should match the dash I've ordered them so I'll pick this up in a few days once they arrive Three days later took this apart again and I ordered on Amazon the correct LEDs again these are number 74 and I'll put the link in the description these are for the newer style climate control panel uh, this is the one that's all electronic. The older style looks the same on the outside, but has uh, cable-driven mechanisms on the inside, whereas this is uh, just completely uh, electronic, as you can see right there. No cables go anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and pull uh, these two out and uh, replace them. This should hopefully be pretty simple. You can see the difference between the two right there. They look like... Uh, the new ones will fit no problem. So all I have to do is just install it in here, plug it in. I'm not sure if these are polarity sensitive or not. They probably are, but uh, too difficult to do this with one hand. So let me get both of these installed and then we'll turn it on and see if they work. 
All right, that's a success. And they are definitely polarity sensitive because I put it in the wrong way. The first time had to take it out and flip it around. So I'm gonna get that one um, installed. I'll probably wipe off the top of this since it's uh, pretty dirty and I can't really uh, put things away if I know they're dirty. So I'll go ahead and uh, get this last one installed and uh, then secure this whole thing back in place and then we'll be done. All right, it's all finished. And uh, unfortunately I didn't get a before shot of the incandescent bulbs, but you can probably imagine what those look like. So here it is with it turned on. It's hard to see during the day, but I will insert some night shots at the very end. So uh, for those of you that may ask, um, I don't have any videos on this stereo install. Um, so one thing I did to the truck, unfortunately, I I did not uh, I did not document it. But the stereo itself is terrible, and I don't recommend it. It's uh, let's see, power acoustic, and it's uh, straight up eBay junk. It was less than two hundred bucks, and it I mean, on paper, it seemed legitimate. It has navigation, which is terrible, slow, um, just just awful, awkward. Um, it does Bluetooth, and it's got all the preamp um, inputs and stuff like that. But it's just uh, definitely not worth the money. If um, if you are interested in a double din installation, um, you can see that this opening, at least with this stereo anyway, which is double din stereo. Uh, the stereo itself is just a little bit smaller than the opening. And if I remember correctly, I had to do a little shaving on the bottom and the top. And the side I have kind of filled in with some uh, black foam weather stripping just to kind of, you know, make it look halfway decent. It looks okay. Um, I mean, it's functionally everything works. Uh, I've got the backup camera installed on it. And, uh, you know, other than that, I... Uh, it's about as basic of a stereo as you can pretty much get. Like I said, I definitely don't recommend it. And uh, if anybody has any questions, just let me know. Um, but I guess that'll pretty much uh, do it for this video. Like I said, I'll uh, install a couple um, still photos of the night shots of uh, both the gauges and the cluster. And uh, everything else is LED. I mean, as far as, you know, everything else that's in here, the dome light. And uh, that's about it, actually. So... Ah, <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, greetings, it is I, the Count. And it's time to answer that fascinating question. What is the Sesame Street number of the day? Ah, ah. That'll do it for another video on the 2002 Ranger Edge. Let me know if you have any questions, and as always, we'll catch you on the flip side.